all got dreams, we all want things, but what you gonna do for it, how you gonna move for it, what you gonna be? Hello everyone, it's Anne Marie from The Queen's Budget, and I'm here today to stuff my sinking funds for 2024, as well as a long-term binder. And I am so excited to start saving long term. And let's get to it. We're going to count the money. I have $1,835. So we have 100, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1,000. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 1,600. 20, 40, 60, 80, 17, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 1800, 10, 20, 35, 18, 35. All right, today is a real cloudy, rainy day in New England. I'm so thankful that it's not snow. Um, I look in the, I look at my forecast, the 10 day forecast, just to see if there's snow coming and we haven't had any in New England so really surprised this year I thought it was going to be a real snowy season but I'm sure it's going to come at some point so this is my sinking fun binder for 2024 and I have my tax accountant rubbish removal septic gifts subscriptions, gym membership, continuing ed, propane, and holiday. And I have some other back here, but these are not sinking funds. So uh, as you can see, I've already started to save for my tax accountant because my appointment is February 1st. So I have to get this money in as soon as possible. So far, I have 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 50, 600. I'm going to be putting in the last $300, 100, 200, 300. Typically, my tax accountant is about $900. So now my tax accountant envelope is fully funded. Taxes is going to be stuffed with YouTube paychecks and eBay paychecks. So nothing yet. So I have rubbish removal and this is due in May. So I'm going to place $100. It's about, it's a little bit over $500 I need. So we're going to start with $100. Septic is done every few years, and then usually it's around three to five hundred dollars. Um, I do have money in septic currently. I have uh, three hundred and fifty dollars so far, and that should kind of cover it for the next time I need it done. The money is in the bank. I am although going to put thirty five dollars in, so twenty thirty five. Gifts is for birthdays. I'm going to place $100. Subscriptions, usually yearly it's about $600. I'm going to place $50. Gym membership, I'm going to place $30. So $20, $30. Continuing education, uh, for 2024, it's actually already fully funded. I saved $915 to place, uh, to do my credits for continuing education. Uh, I am going to stuff this. I'm going to stuff about $250 for the year. So I'm going to place $20 in now. Propane, uh, this is how I heat my house and uh, use the gas for the stove. 
Usually I spend about 2,700 a year for propane. So I'm going to place $340 in today. 10, uh, 100, 200, 300, 20, 40. So now propane has 340. This is due uh, at the end of August, I have to pay this. And another thing too is I have my sinking funds in order from when they're due. So knowing that I have to actually fully fund these, up, these faster than the ones back here. Uh, but that's a way that I actually organize it so that I know that these have to be fully funded before these are fully funded. So next one is holiday and I'm going to place $160. So 100, 150, 160. Usually holidays is everything. So I usually save a little bit over 2000 a year for that. And everything else is done in this binder. Now moving on to long term. So we have my furnace, well, and plumber. This is if I ever need a new furnace, if I have to get a plumber here, uh, if I need well service, because we have a well instead of uh, town water. So this actual envelope, I want to have about ten to $15,000 would be fully funded in here. Because if I ever need a new furnace, that's going to be about $10,000 or a hot water tank. Uh, and then having any service done, um, just want to save a little bit extra for that. So let's go ahead and fund this one. Um, this is going to get $150. So let's see how much I have in here so far. So, so far I have 50, 60, 75. So let's add this in. So, so far I have 100, 200, 210, 25. I have a long way to go for this one. For car, I'm going to add $50. I am doing also some saving challenges for these long-term sinking funds or long-term binder, uh, which you'll see in 2024. For emergency, I'm going to place $50. Okay, pets. Pets is getting $100. So pets currently. Pets now has 51, 52, 53, 54. For ten, four twenty-five. I have a cat that has some health issues, and if I need to go to an emergency visit, I have to be funded for that. So moving on, we have home repair. I'm going to place a hundred dollars, and. Let's see how much I have now. In home repair, I have 51, 50, 2, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 410, 415, 416. Landscaping, I'm going to place $50. In landscaping, this includes any outside snow plowing, mowing, repairs on the lawnmower, 
Um, my boyfriend does pay for all that. What I'm actually saving for is to have our driveway paved. We have an unpaved driveway. So uh, I got an estimate on that. We have a pretty lengthy driveway. It's going to be about seven to ten thousand dollars for that. So we're saving for it. Um, right now I have a thousand dollars in the bank under landscape. I'm adding fifty. So we have one thousand one hundred twenty forty five. So one thousand forty five in the uh eleven forty five in landscaping. In home renovation, I'm going to add fifty dollars. So so far we have fifty, seventy, ninety, one ten, one thirty, one fifty, one seventy. In retirement home, I'm going to add fifty dollars. And like I said, we have saving challenges that are going to be for this binder that I'm currently actually saving for. So, so far I have 100, 200, 220, 35. This is going to be a long ways off. So, I'm going to start now. And then for appliances, I'm going to add $20. Medical, I do have an HSA account at my job. And that is funded, I think I have about three or $4,000 in there. HSA accounts actually roll over where opposed to an FSA account, I don't know if you're, you guys are familiar with those. The FSA account, actually you have to use the money that year or you lose the money. An HSA account, you can actually start rolling the money over year after year and then use the money in retirement. So I usually put about two to $3,000 a, a year into that account. It comes directly from my checking account. I mean, my um, work check. Uh, this medical is going to be for any like co-pays or emergencies or just to go get aspirin at CVS. So this medical, I'm just going to place $20 so in case I need it throughout the year. And then travel, I'm just going to add $10. I am doing challenges for this. Furniture, I'm going to add $20. And then for extra debt, I am debt free except for my mortgage. I'm gonna add thirty dollars. So currently, this envelope has twenty, forty, fifty, sixty dollars. And that is it. I am so excited to stuff these. They were neglected last year because I was doing a one year ahead bill challenge and I am so excited to start stuffing these. So thanks for watching and I will see you on the next video. Bye bye. This is just the beginning. I need a big change. Help me feel like living. I need a big swing home runs. I'm hitting and I'll never look back moving on till I get it all.